Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today is the 14th annual um, Leukemia Cup Regatta for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society at the Stateville Yacht Club in Blue Point, New York. The Leukemia Cup Regatta um, began 14 years ago um, on Long Island. Um, we had a patient who was diagnosed with leukemia on Long Island, so they wanted to do something to raise funds and to honor this patient, so they decided to have a race in this beautiful water and get some boats together, raise funds, and have a party after, and that's really what they did with five people, and now it's gone to about 100 people. So many of us have personal tragedies in our families from leukemia. Uh, we lost an 11-year-old niece many years ago. Also in my store, one of my employees' brother uh, came down with leukemia two years ago. And I'm just very excited because there's a cure coming very quickly. There's been articles in the paper recently that there is a cure coming through. So to be able to cure a disease that affects so many children and adults, um, it's just it's, it's something that we just like to do. There's a lot of involvement from the members. Um, the boats are racing all day long, the families come at night, they enjoy the dinner. All the food is donated by the local uh, merchants. Uh, we have the Snapper Inn, the Irish Coffee Pub, Reese's in Patchogue, John King's. Every bit of food is totally donated. The boats pay an entrance fee, so that money goes directly to the Leukemia Foundation. And we have a lot of our merchants from Bayport and Sable um, give us gifts for our raffle prizes. So it really is a community event. And we've raised sometimes $40,000, $50,000 uh, during these events. We have a 30-foot boat. And my husband, he collects all the food today. So he doesn't race the boat, but he lets his crew take the boat out. And my three sons have a boat called the Sibling Rivalry that they race at J24. So the whole family's involved. And they're all here tonight, everybody. We had a great day today. We got in five races, which is great for the uh, the keel boats and that sort of thing. So we had a, uh, the weather couldn't have been better. It's nice and nice and warm and hot to be uh, comfortable, but not too hot to be uh, uncomfortable. So there were uh, spinnakers, non-spinnakers, and J-22s. And uh, J-22s had a large enough fleet where they had their own start. They are all uh, one design boats. A spinnaker is a, a large head sail on a boat that's sort of an optional sail, if you will. And uh, it's a large sail that can be deployed while racing and that sort of thing. It gives you extra speed. It's used downwind. So we, uh, we, de we, de you know, we have a classes of boats based on whether they deploy a spinnaker or not. And uh, that just makes the race a little more challenging. You uh, are in a triangle. One leg is usually a downwind leg and usually deploy the spinnaker on that leg. Today was a spectacular day. It was one of the best days of sailing we've had all summer. The race committee did a great job. And of course, you know, everybody for an event like this is just in a great mood and just wants to sail and have fun and raise money. Uh, we sailed in the Spinnaker PHRF fleet. And uh, so they're still computing the numbers, but I think we did pretty well. I was on Popeye today. Uh, we had our first starting gun at about 12.30 and we did five short course races. Um, to keep things really competitive and tight so the boats were always within shouting distance of one another and uh, it made, made for a great day. If you messed up in one race, you had a chance to redeem yourself in the next one. You know, we had some, uh, some shifty winds at one point, uh, but in general here on the South Shore of Long Island, we have very solid southwest wind. Uh, comes in every day for us all summer long, so it's the, one of the best venues for sailing around. It's always been a great event. It's one of the best parties we throw all year. And uh, as you can see, everybody who, who uh, shows up just loves this. I took third, which is okay. Uh, however, there was some very, uh, very competitive sailing and some guys who were a lot better than myself. What is that? The Delta Chi, Delta Phi? What, what, what's going on there? That's the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle in equation form. It means if you know where you are, you don't know uh, how fast you're going. And if you know how fast you're going, you don't know where you are. <laughs> I, I thought very appropriate for my boat. We uh, are always looking to expand this race. It's been very successful uh, from our inter-club, intra-club perspective, but 
uh, it's a club we'd, we'd like to have more people on. So we're constantly looking to invite other clubs and more boats and that sort of thing. It's a busy time in the summer on the Great South Bay, but all are welcome and we'd like to have more boats participate next year. I find it to be a well-run organization and I find it to be very efficient, so I'm comfortable asking people I know to contribute their, their uh, dollars toward it because I know the dollars are well spent. We always have great events that actually inspire people to get involved and you know this is just the Leukemia Cup Regatta is a perfect example of it and just getting on the water and seeing how much fun people are having and raising them the funds and then seeing our local patient hero tell them why they're actually doing it inspires them even more to get more and more involved in it and yeah and yes we do have a brain we have an amazing staff so it's fun it's a lot of fun. I saw you guys jockeying into a position. There was there was one guy cutting you oh, off. Yeah. What it was that? Oh, about? it's all part of the sport. But you know, he who's in the best position wins. And you know, it's tactics and it's games we play and it's you know, sailing is a sport and you want to win. I I would recommend to anybody to try competitive sailboat racing because it's not nearly as dull as you would think it was. <laughs> oh, by the way, is there any crying in sailing? No crying in sailing. <laughs> no crying in sailing, especially not here on the South Shore of Long Island.